Hey guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is um, Led by God Ministries. This is your girl. You know who this is. You know who this is. This is your girl. Look at these beautiful clouds. It's like the sun is shining behind the clouds. And it's like, okay, that there's some dark clouds and then there's some light clouds. But it's so beautiful. And it's like the heavens. It's, oh my goodness. God's creation is so beautiful. Listen, guys, I just wanted to talk about Yeshua real quick. Now, um... <clears throat> For so many years, we've been in the dark. A lot of people have been in the dark, even myself included, okay? And I, the only reason why I'm speaking about this is because we were. Because uh, for so many years, they had this picture of Yeshua, which is a white Yeshua, uh, white skin, blue eyes, and so on and so forth, right? By all means, I'm not a prejudiced person. But the thing of the deception and the lying and the deceiving... To cause people to bow down to a certain race, you know, so they put our Lord in um, this different skin tone, this different skin color, this different um, lighter eyes, either than saying who Yeshua truly is and what Yeshua truly looks like. Now, back in the days, years and years and years ago, black folks couldn't read, so they went off of pictures, so that's where their, their upper hand wasn't able to uh, was able to like um, deceive the color folk about who their true Lord is, their Lord and Savior is, who their true God is, uh, the color that God is. Now, everybody would say to me, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It does matter. And the thing about it is that we're portraying a false God, a false picture of a Yeshua, a beautiful Lord and Savior that nobody actually knows who and how he looks what he looks like except for the people that walked with him and that were on this earth with him that was way long time ago so why do we keep having this picture of a false yeshua with this false deception of what he looks like instead we need to have a bright light because yeshua is the light of the world okay so why would we place a false picture of Yeshua knowing that that's not what he looks like? The description of Yeshua is in the word and in, in the Bible, the Holy Bible itself. And yet we walk around here still deceiving people of what Yeshua looks like. And that's not his actual picture. That's not what Yeshua looks like. That's not who he is. That is not the description of who Yeshua is. Instead, take the pictures down. We need to take these pictures of this false Yeshua. I can't even say Yeshua to that picture because that's not him. Now, the bright light is a preferable image that I would say to place up because we ourselves this day and time don't know what Yeshua looks like except for the, the disciples except for Joseph except for Mother Mary except for the people that were amongst him that he walked amongst and that he was um, with because it's just like this you tell a line of 10 people let's say there's a line of 10 people and you start off by telling one person something and that one person spreads it to the next person. But by the time it gets to the 10th person, it has faded the truth of what the actual truth is. There's missing, um, there's missing of the message of the, uh, of, of the message that was given. Um, missing description. Um, the importance of what started off with the first person, by the time it gets to the tenth person, it's no longer, it, it no longer holds its value of what was actually said in the beginning. Because by the third person, they forgot the very importance of everything that started. By the time he gets to the 4th, the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, the 10th, it's damaged. And that's just the same way as us not knowing who our background is and what our background is because of the simple fact that by the time it got to us, it was no more. 
No one held the value of it. So how do you find it? So instead of having this image that is deceiving to the people for so many years, why keep that image when that's not the true image of Yeshua? A bright light, since nobody really knows now in days how Yeshua actually looked. Why deceive the people of, th of making them think that how Yeshua is supposed to look or looks? Why, why, do why continue to deceive the people? It describes Yeshua in the Bible. But yet we continue to keep this image of Yeshua. Yeshua is our precious Lord and our Savior. Who's done so much for us here on earth. Why can't we respect his image and what he looks like? Yeshua was the light that came to, to earth. The brightest light ever. When Saul went to Damascus to destroy all the people. A bright light appeared to him. In that road, stopped him from going to what he, he was going to go do. And it was Yeshua who appeared to him and said, Saul, 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 why do you persecute me? And then he was immediate blind, immediately blinded by that bright light. We need to take those images of Yeshua, those false images of Yeshua down. Those false pictures of whoever that is down. Immediately. ASAP. Instead, put a bright light. In the mighty name of the Messiah, Yeshua. Let's give him respect. I love you so much, Yeshua. I love you, Abba. I love you, Yahoo. I love you, Holy Spirit. I love the descending angels that descend on our behalf to help us out on this earth. And I love you guys. Let's not any longer be deceived by these false images, these false gods. That they have us actually bowing down to. Not realizing that you're bowing down to these false gods. That causes our Heavenly Father anger. So I think that we all need to wake up and be respectful to our Yeshua, our Lord and our Savior who died on the cross for our sins. Because it was not that false image that went on that cross to die for us. I really want you guys to think about it. God bless you guys. I love you guys. And you guys take care. Do not bow down to any false images. No false, no, no false pictures, no false God, because there's only one true God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our father, our creator that created all. May you guys all be blessed. I love you guys. Bye.